Well, hey, YouTube, it's Elvis Ammo here. Hey, today I'm going to do the smash test. I'm going to smash all of those bullets and give it the durability test, the smash test, to see how durable the powder coats are on these new bullets that I just done in this series finding a sticky powder coat or choosing a powder coat so if you want to know more about these bullets I encourage you to go and look those videos up that are just one or two behind this one so here we go um, I have uh, ten bullets well actually just nine bullets now because we eliminated one out of the ten so first off what we're going to do is we're going to smash the bullet with the hammer and we're going to take a look at the bullet and see if it held up if it cracks the powder coating just see how well it holds up so let's go let's move on with it so the first one up is going to be the Ford Light Blue we uh, powder coat these bullets we expect them to be durable so we got it here on the tracks and we're gonna slam it with a hammer and see what happens here we go this is one alright so I'm gonna hit it about that much and and smash it until I feel my my uh, pliers try to open up in my hand and then we're gonna take a look at each one okay so this is the bullet after it was smashed with the hammer it was smashed really good the bullet actually heated up so I'm going to show it to you like this and we're going to do each one that way now um, you know when we do these tests like this there's always a pair of plier marks where where I gripped it and um, it expanded into the pliers so you're going to see that on each side a little bit on that side so that's the uh, Ford Light Blue by Eastwood Powder Company and I'm going to try to tell you the name of each one as I do it uh, the next one that I'm going to do on the list is the Illusion Purple so let's find the Illusion There it is, Illusion Purple. And I'm going to look for one that looks like is coated real well as best I can. And that's the Illusion Purple. And um, the Illusion Purple, it is a uh, supposedly a top coat. And it's made by Prismatic Powders. And uh, so here we go. Top coat. And that's about how I did the other one. I felt it open up in my hand. And here is the coating. Personally, looking at it right here, I'm looking at it with you. Um, it looks good. I don't see any cracking or chipping at all or anything like that. And... Um, and it's kind of hard to tell if there's even a uh, mark where the pliers were but just maybe a little so there's that one and uh, that looks good can't say anything bad uh, I'm on this end of the camera looking at it so I'll give you um, what I think so the next one on the list is the all-in-one chrome bonded and it is made by Columbia and this is the all-in-one I'll try to pick the, you know, honestly on this one, it, it's, it's, they're all coated good. That, that one really coated good. It is uh, made by Columbia, all-in-one, chrome bonded. Um, but it was a number seven on the finicky list. The first one I just done was a number eight, which puts it out of the category of the fussiness test. It's fussy to coat. This one is fussy to coat as a number seven. Here we go that's it it's coated well let's do it and 
and there it is on my end right here it looks really good the all-in-one chrome bonded um, um, now I now this is not just a top coat this is a could be a final coat um, and let's see the marks on the sides are just marginal might not be able to see it as good because of the contrast of the bullet and the chrome bonded powder coat it looks good it's fussy remember that if you need to know what I'm talking about go and watch those videos I promise you won't regret it and if you're enjoying these videos and you're here today and you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscription button and the like button and the aqua clear was the one that we eliminated because it was terrible I called it a 20 <laughs> Columbia chrome that was one of my favorites made by Columbia powders that's the bullet and here we go so I've never I've not done this first time we're gonna see what it looks like I'll probably give that one an extra whack. There we go. From this end right here, me looking at this, it looks good. There's no chipping or cracking or anything going on there. And we'll pull it out of the pliers. Um, maybe not much, if anything, of a mark from the pliers either. So there's that. And the next on the list is Super Satin Green, made by Columbia Powders. Um, let me see, I'll, I'll just make sure I'm selecting a, a decent one with, um, now, and they're all decent, but um, they're, they're just a little spotty, but they're all covered, okay? So that's what I thought of that one. Now this one, uh, the Super Satin Green Columbia was definitely a number one. That thing started coating immediately. It's easy, an easy coater. Here we go. Okay, I kind of hit the edge of that one and um, probably seen me do that. But anyway, it looks good to me from here, from my view. Everything looks good. There's no concerns at all, no cracking, no chipping. It is well bonded to the bullet. And there's that. And you can look and see. Um, not much of a plier mark, but obviously if you have more color, there's going to be more contrast of the bullet under it from the pliers. So there's that. And um, the Super Durable Wet Clear, made by Columbia. It was the number five on the fussy test, which is a little too fussy for me. Let's see, Super Durable Wet Clear. This is the one and um this is the bullet right there so we're going to try this one out there we go it's done the smash everything looks really good to me i can't see any kind of cracking at all nothing concerning whatsoever and the pliers on the side there's like I said there's not as much contrast on these more clear coatings and there's that and then there's the uh, the next one in line it's a transparent blue prismatic powder uh, the last one that I just done the super durable wet clear um, that was a Columbia powder okay this one is a transparent blue prismatic powder transparent blue now these uh, as you know as you've seen in the series these are a little chippy looking and let's see how it plays out on the hammer test smash it let's see okay I wasn't supposed to pull it off the pliers yet Okay, if I'm I'm looking at this and it the coating has definitely separated and broke apart a little bit, the back side of the bullet looks good, but as you can see on the side, 
of the bullet I can see from my angle that I can see chips kind of lifting up and you see where I hit it it's kind of dusting off um, and uh, you can see in my fingers see the chips on my finger right there alright so that's what I think of that and yeah you can kinda not not so good now you can really see it on my fingers okay alright so that was the transparent blue I know a lot of you guys like that um, that's just the test guys and uh, and and that that was uh, but the transparent blue it is a uh, a polyester top coat anyway so it's a top coat um, but sometimes we can use those uh, the Hawaiian blue now it is also considered a top coat here we go I know a lot of you guys like the Hawaiian blue that was the one that man that thing tried to coat <laughs> I give it a zero on the fussy test because it wasn't fussy whatsoever <laughs> it just tried to coat immediately so here we go let's see if it does like the last one I think it might I don't know yep yep there it goes it's all breaking apart not really good for this application uh, there's not a whole lot to talk about it was even worse than the than the last one there we go no oh, good that's that's probably out um, but you guys I didn't realize how bad you guys wanted me to do a stress test on these things and I'm like man they're ready to get these things but they kinda wanna see a stress test on it first so here we go that's why I'm doing it alright um, and now I'm glad I am because you guys are gonna go out and buy it but you know sure enough I bet you those things would shoot just fine honestly so um, there's that but you know we got better stuff than that uh, the, the next one is going to be the Eastwood dark green All right. and um, that's uh, the Eastwood dark green it's kind of a tried and true been around a little while I don't use it all the time but it is a great powder okay I give that one some extra smashing so there's that I kinda of hit it there and on that side <laughs> but as you can see it stretches and gives and uh, I mean you can't say nothing bad about that bullet and then it has a little bit of flyer mark maybe there and maybe a little bit on that side so there you go there's the stress test on uh, all of these bullets I hope this helped you guys and I'm, I'm very sorry if this is just a little bit late okay um, but there you go YouTube I'll see you in the next video